Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and welcome back to another net worth update. So, for the end of November, my net worth ended up coming out to $152,348. If y'all want to, please feel free to leave your net worths down in the description. I think it'll be a very interesting conversation. So let's break that number down and see how everything comes out to that much. So from my checking account, and I'm just looking down referring to my notes, this will be on the screen. For my checking account, there's $3,041 in it. Savings, $2,709. Emergency fund is $4,400. So I did take a chunk of my emergency fund and move that around. I moved a lot of money around. But I wanted to stick to my goal of the $2,000 in my savings account and having a buffer in my checking account. So naturally i went overboard on both of them just to make sure i had more money plus to add to that i did have a bonus this month at work so that helped out a lot with pretty much all of my financial goals but as you can see my cash only added up to 9520 dollars so that doesn't make up much of my net worth at all like we're talking under 10 percent of my net worth and for those of y'all who know know that the bulk of my net worth is straight up in investments and we're going to break down exactly what those investments are right now so 401k, number one, from my old job that I have gladly left and walked away from, I have $11,087 in that account as of the time I'm recording this video. For my second 401k, which is the one that I am currently contributing to right now at this moment, $94,168 is in that account. Beautiful. And I do believe by the end of this year, we will see six figures in this account. I believe it. It is so close and it just keeps going up. And I have two more times this year where I get to add to this account. So I'm pretty sure, pretty positive it's gonna be either $100,000 flat or a little over. Now, my Roth IRA, which I am extremely proud about, I actually just hit a milestone the other day where I contributed to the maximum amount which means I put in $7,000 this year and I've hit the max limit. And that's the first time I've ever done that. So I'm extremely proud of myself and I'm extremely glad to see that this account just keeps going up and up and up. So like I told you earlier in this video, I did have a bonus. So I took that opportunity to put an additional $700 into this account. So we know every month I put in $700 into my Roth IRA and I've been doing that since about May or June. And that was so I could live up to that $7,000 that I promised myself that I would put into my Roth IRA. So since I had the money now, I was like, why am I going to wait till next month? Let me just put it in right now. So the total that I put in this month was $1,400 in my Roth IRA. And we have seen that pay off because check this out. It is now at $22,262. I just feel like that's a great number to have and it's awfully close to $25,000, which will be another milestone for my Roth IRA. And I will definitely make sure to let you guys know once I get there. Now we're getting to some more interesting stuff. So we have my favorite account, my Weeble account, which is at $34,472. Like I told y'all in one of my previous videos, the stock market is very much so up and down right now. And I think a big contributor to that is definitely the election. And for the record, I do not care who you voted for. You have to do what's best for you and your family. I'm just simply pointing out the fact that this part of the year where there's an election involved, there is definitely going to be some fluctuation in the stock market. And I say that because last month, my Weeble account was actually higher than it is now. It was $35,000 and some change. And now it's actually a little less than it was last month. And that was with me actually buying more shares this month. So I actually bought eight shares of Intel, which is an addition that I've added. So initially I've only had Apple, Microsoft, Google, Nvidia, and VTI. I just added Intel to it just because of some re recent news that I heard about it. Plus their price is super, super low right now. So I figured that I would just commit to it for five years and hold it for five years and see what happens because I do believe that they will turn their business around. And I do believe that they'll work more with companies like AMD and Nvidia, which have also been skyrocketing in the stock market. So with the knowledge that I have about their AI integration and their government backing and working with AMD and with other recent news that just came out about them, I was like, well, let me just check out eight shares of these real quick, you know, and that was like $200. And we'll see what happens there. I'm not telling you to necessarily invest into it. I'm just telling you that's what I've done. But despite everything I just said and this being slightly lower than it was last month, as you can see on the screen, this number is still good. And my overall account is still up 137.42% since I had it back in 2020. So I'm getting really good yearly returns off of all of my investments right now. So I can only be thankful for such a thing. 
If you want to learn things about when I invest and how I invest and more insight on that, join this group that I created called Wealth Journey Collective. The link is going to be down in the description. And I'll talk more about that later on in the video. Another interesting point, crypto. I bought $50 worth of XRP the other day, like literally two days ago. And I did it because I recently took some time off work and took a vacation and started really thinking heavily about my investing strategy and what I'm going to do differently next year to be even more successful and build my net worth up even more. And what I came to the conclusion of is that I've been way too conservative in terms of not really giving crypto a thought at all. Like I gave it so much of an afterthought. Next thing I know, Bitcoin, boom, Bitcoin almost hits $100,000. It's like, it's crazy out here. So I'm like, you know what? Bitcoin is something I've known about for a long time. I've known about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. For those of y'all who are not crypto people, I'm not a crypto person either, but I'm simply saying that being off of work and thinking more things through, I'm like, I'm going to just invest in crypto more. I'm not going to put a fortune into it or anything. I'm going to keep a very low amount of my net worth in the crypto, but I think for me, knowing what I know about personal finance and knowing about the crypto and blockchain space, I feel like it would be unwise of me not to put some money in there. I only put $50 in there this time. We'll see how I contribute to it next year. I'm still developing my cryptocurrency strategy, if you will. But just so you're in the know, that's what I have done with my crypto investment. I put $50 in the XRP. And also my initial investment that I already have in crypto, which I will show a screenshot of right now, that combined with the amount of money that my XRP has gone up has a total of $737, which has added finally to my net worth. And of course, I don't really plan on doing anything or touching this money. In fact, if it does a crazy surge and goes up a lot, well, I might just I might just transfer it into something that's more secure, like going from XRP to Bitcoin or like putting that money into a stock like Apple or Microsoft, just because I feel like using your investments to afford greater investments is just a good idea. That's enough crypto talk for today. Anyway, life insurance ended up coming out to $2,701 and some change, but for the sake of the spreadsheet that I'm showing y'all, I don't feel the need to go over every cent, just in my opinion, I, I just don't. And that is just my whole life account. I also have term life, but that's another story for another day. So my assets came out to a total of $175,577. And I am not mad at that one bit. So for my liabilities, $22,919 are left on my student loans. I have not gotten super aggressive about that yet, but you already know my strategy with that, with investing. That is where I'm going heaviest in right now, investing and saving. And honestly, looking at my entire portfolio of net worth, I would say this. I would say that my cash and my investments are two areas where I have a lot of opportunity to put more money in every single month. The investments, of course, for the upside and the cash, of course, is just for having that security net. Credit card debt, $310, something slight. It's really not that much at all. And I usually pay that off at the beginning of the following month when it's due. So that is my assets, that is my liability. So my liabilities ended up coming out to $23,229. All four grand total of $152,348 for my entire net worth. So I'm very proud of that number. And if you've been looking at my net worth, like the difference between each month, it's been going up by like anywhere between four to $6,000 per month. So I have a special treat for you guys. I just wanted to kind of point this out because I think it's really powerful. My invested money alone this year has earned me $56,998 in net worth. And I can't back off of this point, so I won't. Some people don't make that in a year. So how crazy is it that after you get your net worth to a certain point, it just starts making more money for you and of course this is in terms of value the assets just go up in value if i were to cash it out now it would be realized income i'm not cashing it out i'm not touching it so it's just going to continue to grow and grow and grow but my point is that my assets have gained so much value already in this short amount of time and the year's not even over yet so who knows what it's going to be at the end of december and that's why it's important that we learn how to invest because if i had my 401ks alone like yeah it would be a good amount of money. Like both of my 401ks combined would definitely be over $100,000. But that's the thing. We get satisfied with thinking that that's enough. It's not enough because you need a Roth IRA. You need an individual brokerage account eventually as you become more financially, I guess you could say stable and secure. And as you get to that point, 
you'll feel more comfortable taking those risks and making those decisions because you will know the power behind investing your money into other accounts. But honestly, it took me a while to get to this point and I did most of it by myself just through my own research, through my own, you know what I'm saying, mistakes and frustrations and ready to throw some tables and chairs because I was irritated at the fact that I didn't know how to invest. I didn't really know how I was gonna go about saving and paying off debt and I was trying to do everything at once. And if I had somebody wiser than me at the time to say, hey man, just focus on one thing at a time and your debt is going to get paid off chill out you don't got to put your life savings on your debt right now you just got out of college you're just, you're just trying to figure things out right now how about figure out how to put some money to the side and save and become more secure and then learn how to invest and once you do that you'll have a lot more money at your disposal and then you can pay off your debt with any money you have left over after that i wish somebody would have been able to tell me that and a lot of us wish that we had more people that would come to us and be mentors in that way but we don't, and we don't have conversations about money. So I have created this group called Wealth Journey Collective. And I just wanna say this, and I'm pretty sure everybody feels like this at some point in life. I would be further along if somebody was able to tell me about these things earlier on in life. And I was actually around like-minded people who had similar financial goals to me that actually knew what the heck they were talking about. And in my frustration of being upset at the fact that a group like this simply does not exist in terms of people having the desire to talk about personal finances and having the desire to share their wins and talk about what they're investing in and asking questions about their investments and asking questions about how do I get out of debt quicker and just asking the right questions, sharing the right insight, and then giving the right information to the right people who also want to grow financially. What I'm saying is... I'm at 152,000 now. At the beginning of this year, I was at $95,000. So it's grown a lot. And I just hit my six figures this year. But it didn't have to take as long as it took for me. I don't want it to take as long for you. So I have created a group called Wealth Journey Collective in which the members in there are from different walks of life. They all have different careers. And they all want the same thing. And that is to grow financially, become financially stable, build their first $100,000 in net worth, and I am here to help you guys with that every step of the way. And you also can help each other every step of the way. We have a group chat, we have a market insight page, we have a wins page, we have a page to ask any questions called Wealth Roundtable, and we have live calls in which you all can interact with me and interact with each other and ask questions in person as we'll call it it's really virtual but you know it's as close to in person as you could get for a group of people that are literally from around the world so i would say consider joining such a group because because in this type of group setting you can get the answers to your questions a lot quicker than trying to figure it out for yourself and going through trial and error and that has its place but i feel like from a financial perspective the world is starting to evolve. We're starting to do different things. AI is coming into play. Blockchain is coming into play. Stocks, companies, institutions are also investing into these things. And there's a lot of opportunity right now. And I feel like we're chasing the wrong things and striving for the wrong things where we're missing out on a lot of opportunity. And this is where a lot of these conversations can be had. And you can build a great understanding about personal finances and once you get financially stable and you're able to be in a place to invest more heavily you can have more insight on how does investing even work what should i invest in and how do i know what to invest in instead of just listening to some random person on the internet telling me what to invest in these are the types of things that you would learn inside of that group and you would also just be able to share things that you're proud of with people that aren't going to go run, you know what I'm saying, and, and tell other people because for one, they don't they don't really know you, but two, you're in a like-minded group where you're working to help each other out and answer each other's questions and then congratulate each other when you have wins. So I went live on Monday twice actually because the first time I went live, I, everybody was at work, don't know what I was thinking, and then I went live again that evening and I had a lot of fun with it, but if y'all want to learn just more about what the group is about. And if you wanna learn more about just what that journey of building your first six figures can look like, because it's not always a pretty journey, it was pretty ugly for me, especially getting started, but getting that level of understanding, check out my live videos. And you can't go to my regular videos and see it, you have to go to my channel and then hit the live button. And then it's called Wealth Journey Live Episodes 1 and 2. They're up there, you can check those out if you want to. And as a matter of fact, 
since you made it this far, I do want to let you know that if you want to join Wealth Journey Collective, it is still at its lowest price that it'll ever get to. And it'll remain like that through Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And that's so you can lock in your founding member price. And I might allow it to go on until Christmas. We'll see. But right now I'm building up interest in the group and just seeing who all wants to do it. I have quite a few people in the group now, but I want to have more. I want to add more value to more people. So check that out. But if you didn't get to see this video, make sure you check it out. I'll link it right here.